I'm Urs Kasser, I'm the Executive Director of the Berkman Center. I have the pleasure to be one of the co-hosts of today's conference. It's been a very rich day. We've covered a lot of ground. Uh, uh, we had, you know, um, speakers from various disciplines introducing their views and perspectives on the topic um, privacy and, and, and the public uh, and how, you know, digital technologies actually uh, blur the lines between these two poles. I think the key challenge that I'm left with coming out of this uh, wonderful conference is that we really need to think hard about um, social design, about the design of institutions, uh, the design of spaces, processes uh, that allow us actually to have conversations around uh, different expectations of privacy, uh, also kind of um, different notions on the value of the public. Uh, and that's kind of, uh, I think, where, where it boils down to, uh, because obviously we live in a world where also disagree on, on uh, norms, uh, on privacy norms, uh, where we use the um, technology for different purposes. Sometimes we use it in contexts where we have strong preference, uh, strong preferences to, to remain uh, private and in other uh, setups. Um, we are very interested in, in creating um, a public sphere. Uh, and to me, uh, the challenge really is um, to improve and advance our uh, repertoire, our institutional repertoire, um, to kind of negotiate uh, these differences uh, and in a way create a more interoperable ecosystem. I would be very surprised if there is a clear answer to this question in the future. Uh, I think we have to see it as a spectrum. Uh, I believe that currently the, the way the technology that we're, so many of us are using, Facebook, Twitter, uh, you name it, um, and the kind of large scale data aggregation collection that happens um, behind the surface, uh, that this obviously uh, together with, a, with user behavior uh, leads to kind of a more public um, uh, notion uh, to a more public environment. Um, but again, uh, the pendulum may well swing back. We also see here in the US, but also in Europe uh, and in Asia, of course, um, conversations about the reinvention of privacy, the reintroduction of privacy in cyberspace. Take the European example of uh, a right to be forgotten. It has certainly shaped my thinking about these uh, issues. The most important aspect, uh, I think, is, is really this strong interest from, from the perspective of, of design and architecture uh, that seems to be more interested and concerned about the public uh, as opposed to my own biases and my own background as, as a legal scholar. Uh, I have focused more in the past on, on the privacy challenge and, and not thought so much about uh, kind of the, the tools available in the toolbox of law and policy makers to uh, structure um, the uh, public space in, in a sustainable way or in a, in a way that, that uh, creates a, a uh, robust uh, information ecosystem. So that's, that's kind of the key challenge I think that uh, I face today for me personally and that has really influenced my thinking.